Hello everyone, it's Kim, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a crazy long time since I've put up a video, like, I don't know, like two months or something crazy like that, which I am very sorry. It's been an interesting beginning of the new year, and I got a little lazy at the end of December with Vlogmas, and you know what? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it because I am back. I'm going to get back into the swing of things and it's going to be awesome. So thank you to everyone who stayed subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it and I'm back and yeah, so we're going to get this whole new year off with a haul. A really, really big haul. Like, like two months slash holidays worth of books. So I'm just going to go pick them all up and hopefully the stack won't fall down on me. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. But we're just gonna jump right in and get started and get through all of these without falling over. Ow, 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 that really hurt. <gasps> Let's get started. Since there are a ton of books to show you, I'm just going to quickly run through them like I've done before and list them off and then I will talk about the few that I am pretty excited and pumped to read. No Place to Fall by J. Robin Brown. Driftwood by Elizabeth Dutton. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Someday, Someday Maybe by Lauren Graham. The Shadow Cabinet by Maureen Johnson. The Infernal Devices Manga Volume 1 by Cassandra Clare. I'm pretty, I don't want to mispronounce it, I think this is what it says. I think it's The Iron Worm Affair by Lilith St. Crow. The Diviners by Libba Bray. Between the Lines by Jodi Pico and Samantha Van Leer. Full Frontal Feminism by Jessica Valenti. Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. The Beast Within by Serena Valentino. The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. The Ruby Circle by Rochelle Mead. And finally, Live, Love, Beauty by Keegan Allen. So that is the list of books. So now on to the ones that I've decided I'm the most excited about. First one is, it's not necessarily I'm excited about it, because I've started reading it and it's a little intense, And but is the book that my friends and I decided to start reading. We kind of started a book club sort of thing, and so the first book we chose was Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. Yeah. I think we're all kind of starting to re we we're kind of rethinking that decision, but my other two friends have already finished it. I'm a little behind. I'm only I don't know. I guess it would be around maybe chapter 3 or 4. But it's it's intense. It's like intense. Like really 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 intense. And it's only like the very beginning and I've heard that it gets completely worse because we've been kind of chatting about it already. So I'm kind of bracing myself. Yet I haven't um, read Gone Girl, so this is my first book by Gillian Flynn, and so far I, I am kind of scared of her mind. Like kind of scared of her mind. Really impressive storytelling, but scared of her mind. Cause like how does she come up with these things? It's kind of crazy, but it's it's good. I am enjoying it. Another book that I am very excited about, I actually already read this book because I just couldn't wait, and that is The Shadow Cabinet by Maureen Johnson. I, I couldn't wait for this book, like, I had to read it as soon as I picked it up because I, I, I think it's been like a year and a half or two years since the other, since the second book in the series, and there's just some loose ends that need to be tied up because Maureen left us hanging in the worst possible way. And I was very, very excited to pick it up and read it because it ended up being amazing. Like, a uh, freaking amazing. The next book that I am excited about is The Beast Within by Serena Valentino. I believe this is basically a telling of not necessarily Beauty and the Beast, but I think it's Beast's story up through, I don't know if it's up through Beauty, the actual story that we all know, but I think it goes into why he became the Beast, what events occurred to cause that to happen, and that's really exciting. It's going to be interesting to delve into his character, and I love this cover. It's absolutely gorgeous artwork, like absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if that was hand-drawn or painted or 
what, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And I like the fact that you can kind of like half your face with the beast face. Let me see what, what face he's making. I don't have like little, I don't have like a tooth there, so. I'm really excited for this one because Belle is my absolute favorite Disney princess and Beauty and the Beast is up there on my like top five Disney movies of all time. So I'm very excited for this one. The final book that I'm going to talk about in more detail is The Ruby Circle by Rochelle Mead. This book. I love the fact that I love the cover first off and the red and the pinks. But this book is such a bittersweet like purchase because I really don't want this series to end. This is the final book in the Bloodline series. And I don't know if it's gonna ever if it's gonna be the final book in like that world, like Vampire Academy Bloodlines world. I really hope it's not. I, but I do know that she is coming out with a different book. I don't, I think it's a fantasy novel. I'm not sure if it's a standalone or if it's a series. But I'm kind of bummed to say goodbye to Adrian and mostly Adrian. Let's face it. But I don't know. It's I'm really excited to read it, but then I'm really sad because it's the end. But I'm sure it's going to be phenomenal, and I'm really, I'm pumped to see how it wraps up. Well, that is it for this haul. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will definitely be seeing you soon and more frequently with some brand new videos. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.